Well, it is that time of year when children's eyes are glued to the TV, watching Santa make his way around the world. Members of the 601st Air Operations Center and NORAD are in charge of tracking Santa on his Christmas Eve journey. And as News 13's Chloe Sparks tells us, this is the 66th year the Air Force has tracked old St. Nick, and Tyndall has been right in the thick of it. Usually the 601st Air Operations Center, or the AOC, is where military personnel track everything that flies in and around Canada in the United States. But on Christmas Eve, they take on a little extra duties. We're very good at uh, mixing work and uh, play, uh, if you will. So our 24-7, 365 mission continues. Uh, and then we fold Santa into that so we can multitask and uh, protect the, uh, the nation and uh, give Santa the uh, information that he needs as well. The AOC and North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD, have been tracking Santa's sleigh since 1955. They say there's a lot of preparation that goes into the big day. First procedure, get a lot of sleep because it's going to be a long night, right, tracking Santa. Next, officials have to check radars, satellites, and the fighter jets. They say one of the most difficult parts about tracking Santa is timing. In Santa's time, he's got months and months to do this, and he doesn't track time the same way that we do. So, yes, for us, a split second, we could miss him. Uh, we've got really good sensors, though. NORAD has never missed the man and his reindeer. Children have been captivated for years by their tracking, and they don't intend to stop that now. There's even an app you can download. It's the NORAD Track Santa Claus app. You can follow the countdown until Santa's sleigh takes off, play Christmas games, and watch as Santa travels the world, delivering presents to all the good boys and girls. In Bay County, Chloe Sparks, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Children can also call NORAD's hotline. It's 1-877-HIGH-NORAD to get updates on Santa's location. And you can, of course, get updates right here on our website, mypanhandle.com.